guys welcome back so today we're finally gonna test out our brand new auto body frame pulling machine also known as a frame rack so I hope you like it stay tuned this vehicle sustained some front end damage and as a result both of the frame rails were pushed over just a bit so I will be pulling them back using my brand new frame rack that I recently built from scratch now if you want to see how I built it go ahead and click on the link up in the corner just a quick disclaimer before we begin. I am not a professional frame guy with years worth of experience in frame repair. Just a regular dude with some basic understanding of how this works. So basically all that I'm doing is I'm pulling the metal back into its original position while using my frame rack. And we got a new project. We got this 2013 Acura RDX. So let's check out, well let's check the whole car out. All of that is good. Now on to the bed. Boom. So it's not too bad. Obviously this fender is shot. <laughs> and this is where most of the damage is. That piece is going to have to get replaced along with, uh, I don't even know what this piece is, but I mean, obviously that's getting replaced as well. Yeah, look at the lower control arm. It's split there and, ah, shoot, it's hard to see. Right over there, right in the center. That thing is kinked bad. And you can tell, look where the wheel sits. So, uh, a couple of blown airbags. Other than that, not a bad rig. So the suspension got beat up pretty bad. This lower control arm is just smashed. As you can see, it's all bent up right in there, split right here, and also the CV axle also got bent and torn up and everything. So I got a couple of parts that came in already, lower control arm and an axle. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna get this stuff installed so this way I can get this car rollable. frame rack is centered under a car. Okay, so the rig is mounted, and so far everything looks good. The very first pull I want to make is uh, I want to pull out this panel right here. It's going to be a light pull, but I just want to kind of test this frame rack out. Uh, 
but first I have to get the smushed up panel out of the way. Later on I will drill it out and throw it away. And really the main reason for a couple of these really light pulls is just to make sure that my hydraulic ram and foot pump are operational, since I have not tested them prior to this pull. Yeah. And everything seems to be working just fine. The only observation that I've made is I think that either the foot pump or the ram, or maybe both, are a bit low on hydraulic fluid. But that's not a problem, I will fill them both up later on. Alright, so everything seems to be working. With AC condenser and radiator out, I can assess this damage a lot better. As you can see, there's more space right here than there is right there. That means that this bottom of the core support got pushed in and then it flex right here because of the, the metal went in this way. So this metal had nowhere to go but up. So what needs to be done is all of this has to be pulled out to the same dimension as this corner right here. And then when the pull is made, then I'll be able to knock down all of these high spots and I'm gonna be able to preserve all of this metal so I don't have to replace it. So I went ahead and I split the car exactly down the middle with the laser beam. Now the reason I did that was so I could figure out exactly if anything had moved. And after taking some measurements I came to a conclusion that the whole front end moved over this way by about 5 millimeters, which is roughly quarter of an inch. If you're wondering what it is that I'm talking about and want to find out how to measure out car damage with a laser, then go ahead and click on the link above. So I went ahead and I marked the spot where the laser beam lands with a smaller mark. I went ahead and measured out five millimeters over this way and I made a secondary mark. Now I'm gonna use this bigger mark as my point of reference because instead of getting my measuring tape out every five seconds just to check on the progress of the pool, I will go ahead and keep an eye on this laser beam and this bigger mark. So this way all I have to do is just make sure that after my pool is complete, that laser beam would land on this bigger mark and as long as that happens then I know that my pull is done. Most cars these days will have a radiator support that is bolted on. So the way you would normally go about doing a repair is you would unbolt the radiator support and then you would pull the frame rails one by one back into their original position. However, on this car the core support is welded onto the frame rails and also onto the outer structure. So when I made a pull, I pulled the entire nose of the car as one and that takes a lot of force to accomplish. And as you can see, this frame rack made the pull just fine. So I would say that my homemade frame rack is a success. So the reason for multiple pulls is 
every time I make a pull, I slightly over pull. Then once I release the pressure and the metal springs back, I check with my progress to make sure that I didn't pull too far. And with each pull, I get closer to my goal. Just a smidge more. So the pool is done. Let's see where we're at. Beam lands right on the predetermined line. Good. Now let's see where we're at on the tape measure. We are right on the 45 millimeter mark. We are good. So the frame rails got pulled out and they are in spec. However, the only thing that's not in spec is our core support. And to measure it out, I'm gonna use a tram gauge. So here, the rod pretty much falls right into the hole. And then if we go to opposite holes here, that means we got probably a good quarter of an inch pull that we gotta make on this core support and we gotta shift it that way. So after giving it a couple of light pulls, this is where we're at. So it goes right in the hole. And if we flip around, it goes right in the hole. Perfect. So now both of our frame rails and core support is right where it's supposed to be. So after I posted my video about how I built my homemade frame rack, I had quite a few people ask me about how is it that I'm going to make my side pulls because I only welded that half inch plate to the front of the frame rack. Now to answer that, the main reason why I welded that plate to the front was so I could better tie in the front tube of the frame rack base to the side tubes. This way I would give it a little bit more rigidity because I believe that the front of the frame rack will see the most action so I wanted to beef it up just a little more. So if I had to make a side pull, for example if I was working on an A pillar, B pillar or a rocker panel, I have a loose piece of half inch steel plate. All I'd have to do is I would just lay it down on either right or left side of the frame rack tube. Like for example I already have a tower in here, I can just... I can just slide it under, right there, my gap is filled. So if I had to make a pull anywhere around the car, I would just lay this plate down, I would slide the tower in place, and I can make my pulls 360 degrees around the vehicle. One more question I was asked was about how I'm gonna go about getting the car up in the air so the frame rack could slide under it. So once again, I figured I would borrow a design idea from Unicar since there is no reason to reinvent the wheel. But after watching this short clip, I realized that to replicate the setup, it will take a good bit of time and it won't be very cheap. So I had to figure out a cheap and easy solution to that. And as you could see it earlier in the video when I lifted the car up, here it is. I just used some jack stands that I had sitting around I wanted to make sure mainly that they had a wider base so this way this thing could be more stable than not. Then I went to the junkyard and I picked up four factory car jacks. And then I just welded them onto the base. Guys, I'm really happy with the way this thing turned out. It did great, held up like a champ. 
I'm sure you'll see this thing in action a lot more in our future videos. So if you liked this video, go ahead and subscribe if you haven't already. Smash that like button and leave me a comment down below and we'll see you soon.